Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever in the world you might be watching. I'd like to show you how to protect cells and workbooks and worksheets in Excel. The version I'm using is Excel 2016, but it, the same procedure works in earlier versions. So our goal is to protect certain cells. I've simply uh, protected these cells uh, with a little bit of colour in them so that we can see exactly where we are. Because what I'm going to do is to show you which cells are available to me by holding down the tab key. And as I tab through, I see that those cells have been populated. And as I hold in the tab key, I see that the live cell does not move outside of these selected cells. In other words, I can't click out here anywhere. I'm using my left mouse key to try to click outside. I can click, however, inside. So that's our goal. And let's look at the procedure. So the first thing I'm going to do is to select the same cells. I'll hold down the control key and select those as well and then I'll fill them with a little bit of colour so that it matches the previous uh, worksheet. Now what I'm going to do is to select the cells and then I'm going to click on the format command format cells and what I need to do is to take the tick out of locked. Then I'll click OK now I'll go to the Review tab and I'll say Protect Sheet. Now I can use a password which will save other people changing things so I'll use the word password. I'm confirming that password and I then take the tick out of Select Lock Cells. And when I click OK, if I click out here I cannot use any of the cells outside of those that I selected. So we'll click up here and we'll say Tom, tab, we'll say he's age is 34, and his telephone is thus, tab again, Bill, we'll say he's 45, telephone number 123456, and tab again, so I can keep adding information as I wish to populate the cells, but I can only populate the cells that I have actually uh, protected. Now, what I'm going to do also while I'm here, I'll just go back to the goal sheet, and here I'm going to protect the file, protect the workbook. Now, when I click on that, it says that I can protect the structure. In other words, sheets cannot be moved, deleted, hidden, unhidden, unhidden or renamed and new sheets cannot be inserted. So again I'll use a password here which will save other people from making any changes and I'll click OK. Now let me try to add a new sheet. I'm clicking down here, up pops a message, the workbook is protected and cannot be changed. So I'll click OK and now I see that not only is the worksheet protected uh, but also the workbook is protected. If I wanted to add another, sh another sheet, I would need to unprotect the workbook by clicking on it. Use the password. Don't forget the password because it is difficult and can be costly to recover. I'll click OK and now I can add another sheet if I wish. There it is there. So I'm going to uh, delete that sheet just to explain to you how you can do it. Now I'll protect the workbook again and I'll use the use a password and I'll click OK. Now let's try to add another sheet. Aha, uh -huh. workbook protected cannot be changed. Remember it's the structure that can't be changed. I can still use the protected cells to add information but I can't change the structure of the worksheet. So as I tab through, I can enter information in any of those cells. 
Again, I simply shaded the cells with colour so that I know which cells are protected. Hopefully this has explained one of the uh, small mysteries in Microsoft Excel because the way it works is that when you open a new file, the cells, all of the cells, strangely, are called locked. The unlocked cells are these that I see here, that I simply um, made available by unticking locked. You would imagine it would be the other way around, but Microsoft have called any cell which can be used as a locked cell. So we'll see you next time. Don't forget to practice, and bye for now. Thank you for watching.